head of the IFP leader Prince Mangosutu Butelezi outside Ulundi to express their condolences on the passing of the party's lead, uh, the party leader's wife Princess Irene Irene Tandagile. Among the leaders are IFP national spokesperson Mkululeko Nlengwa, Albert Nwango, and member of the KwaZulu Natal Legislature Joshua Mazibuko. Other dignitaries who have paid the Butelezi home a visit are former KwaZulu Natal Premier Dr. Frank Mlalosi and the A. ANC's Deputy Speaker of the Provincial Legislature, Mishak Hadebe. Mourners have described P uh, Princess Irene as a pillar of strength to the nation. Let's cross now to my colleague Simpiwe Makanya, who's standing by. Simpiwe, what's the latest? A very good afternoon to you. A very good afternoon to you, Nombu, and good afternoon to the viewers. We are coming to you live from the Kwapindangene residence here in Ulundi. As you have alluded in your intro, indeed, that we've had quite a number of uh, leaders, uh, government leaders, uh, visiting the, the, the family uh, here today, following, of course, the sad passing on of Princess Irene yesterday. I can also tell you that, uh, Nompu, uh, the leaders that you alluded to uh, have just left us now. Uh, we are going to be speaking to the person who will speak on behalf of the family, Nkosi Umza Mubteles, who is also the Deputy uh, President of the IFP. Uh, Nkosi Ushenge, thank you very much for your time. Perhaps, how is the family doing at this point? Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. We are very devastated indeed as the family for the sad the passing on of Princess Irene, who has been the pillar to our leader and a very resourceful wife to the Prince of Kwapindangene and to the greater nation of South Africa. Mm -hmm. Perhaps for a person who does not know Princess uh, Irene, what kind of a person was she? Uh, you know, it's very difficult to define this dynamic woman. She has been, uh, as I said, a pillar to the IFP leader. And as you know, the president is a, a well-known leader. That is because of uh, his wife, which was Princess Irene. As it's always been said that behind every successful man, and every great leader, there is a successful woman, a very wise woman. She has been that kind of uh, a woman, a, a very soft person, a very loving person, a very caring person. And that is evidence in the life of the leader himself, Prince Mango Subtelezi. Mm. How is Prince Subtelezi doing if you've been able to manage to speak to him? Of course, uh, he's been saddened by the passing on of his wife. And you know that uh, Prince Butler is a very loving person, he's a family man. And uh, the amount of love that he had for his wife is unmeasurable. So he's very devastated. But we believe that he's hoping, as he's a Christian himself, so he knows that uh, everybody has to come to this uh, end in his life. So he understands that and he's very saddened indeed. Mm -hmm. But he's coping, I can say. In terms of the processes going forward, uh, the funeral arrangements, have they been finalized? What's going to happen from today? Uh, as I'm talking to you now, the prince himself is doing all the arrange arrangements for the funeral. And you can't believe that uh, even when we were in the NEC doing party work, he will take time from there to go and buy groceries for his wife. That's a kind of a man. He's busy with, with those preparations. And we can confirm that the funeral will take place on Friday at 9 at Ulundi Regional Stadium. Mm. That has been confirmed. Yes. That is open to, to the public as well? It's very open because Prince Irene, her, uh, Irene has been the mother of the nation, so it's open to everybody. Mm. Yes. Mm. Uh, Inko Sushang, I know you don't speak on behalf of the party, but allow me to just squeeze this question in. We've had reports that Inko Sushang might not actually um, stay longer in his position now as the leader of the IFP. Uh, we understand that he was going to step down shortly after the elections. What can you tell us about that? Uh, I really think that uh, th that is not something that I can comment to at this point in time. I think the public should allow us a space to mourn and to attend to the front of the princess. And that's the only that should be discussing the issues of the party. I believe we should pack them aside. Shushan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. There was the family spokesperson of the Kwapin Dangene residence in Kosum Zamob is taking us through the preparations for the funeral which will be taking place on Friday. That has been confirmed now. It's back to you, Nombu and Johannesburg. Thanks for that, Simpiwe. Now we're going to cross